I'll be uh, discussing about the real time clock in MSP430. So, what this is stands for a real time clock, and uh, it's a computer clock that keeps track of the current date and time, and it is used for a variety of applications uh, for uh, time stamping events and to digitally display the time and date in the MSP430 control devices. So, RTC has a uh, Two oscillators, one is digital based oscillator and uh, RC based oscillator. And the uh, RC type oscillator is used to control the CPU clock, and the crystal oscillator RC is used for uh, controlling the peripherals. And uh, it has two modes it can operate as a clock and also uh, it can operate in a calendar mode. And uh, also, uh, when the RTC mode is set, it can act as a 32 bit general purpose counter. RTC there are 4 8 bit counters and uh, depending on the mode it works as a timer or a calendar. When the RTC mode is set it works as a calendar. So in calendar mode the RTC A model provides the seconds, minutes and the hours of the day, the day of the week, day of the month and the year in the selectable DCD or XRSML format. And the calendar also includes a detail algorithm that can uh, uh, consider all the years evenly visible by 4 as even years. I mean leap years. And next in the counter mode, uh, there are four eight, uh, individual 8 bit counters to provide the 32 bit counter. Uh, this provides the interrupt uh, triggers at 8 bit, 16 bit, 24 bit, and 32 bit overflow. And uh, also, the each counter register RTC, uh, RTC counter 1 to 4 is individually accessible and may be read or written. The clock to increment the counter can be sourced from uh, asynchronous clock or uh, SM clock or from the BTC counter to input clock here by 128 from the basic timer 1 module. And uh, also there are uh, interrupts in the real time clock and uh, it uses 2 bits for interrupt control and they are the basic timer 1 interrupt flag uh, BTIFG and uh, real time clock interrupt enabled RT, RTC IE. The real time clock module shares the basic timer 1 interrupt flag in the vector. When RTC IE is equal to 0, the basic timer 1 controls the interrupt generation. Otherwise, the RTC controls the interrupt generation. We will be discussing about the watchdog timer. And the watchdog timer's main purpose is to perform a control system with the and other system uh, software and malfunctions. So, if the circuit time interval uh, expires, a system reset is generated. And uh, it can also be configured as an interval timer that can generate inter uh, interrupts at uh, circuit time intervals. The features of the watchdog timer uh, include uh, it can work in watchdog mode or it can work as an interval timer. And there are 8 software selectable time intervals. And uh, there is a selectable clock source and password protected access to the watchdog timer control register and it can be stopped to conserve power. And uh, we will be seeing about the uh, watchdog timer A operation. So, as I said earlier, it can uh, either act in a watchdog mode or as an interval timer. So, to switch between these two modes, we will be using the watchdog timer control register that is WBT CTL register. And it is a 16 bit password protected uh, read or write register. Any read or write access to this register must be uh, use uh, word instructions and write accesses must include a write password 05AH in the hexadecimal mode. So, if there is a password violation, the system will restart the uh, reset irrespective of uh, what mode it is operating. And uh, next uh, we have the WDCTL register. That is the watchdog timer uh, control register. Uh, it's a 16 bit register. So the bits uh, 15 to 18 is the watchdog timer password and it's always read as 05AH. And uh, bit number 7 is the watchdog timer old bit. This bit stops the watchdog timer. And uh, if the value is 0, uh, the watchdog timer is not stopped and if the value is 1, it is stopped. The watchdog timer is always active. And uh, next we will be seeing about the watchdog timer counter. 
So it's a 32 bit up counter that is not directly accessible by the software. It is controlled by the WDCTL register as I said earlier. And uh, this counter can be sourced from the asynchronous clock, SM clock, or the uh, VL clock in some devices. And the uh, clock source is uh, accessible by the WDT S select bit, that is the uh, source selection bit. And uh, next we will be seeing about the interval timer. So, setting the WDT S cell bit. That is the watchdog timer, timer selection bit to one selects the interval timer and this mode can be used to generate the periodic interest and in interval timer mode the WDT IFG flag is uh, set at the expiration of the selected time interval and uh, if the enable bit uh, remains unchanged uh, the interrupt flag is automatically reset and uh, the interrupt vector address in the interval timer mode is different from that in the host of timer. 